Hi there, I'm Matt Kemp from London's The Underground Cookery School and today I'm going to show you some simple recipes which you're going to love. I'm going to show you how to make this lovely cornbread recipe. Now, we're going to divide up the recipe into two parts. I've got dry ingredients, which is flour. Just pop that into a bowl with some cornmeal, some corn flour, so that goes in as well, and a generous pinch of salt just to get that going. So those are all my um, raw ingredients, and I'm just going to give those a little mix to combine them together. And I'm going to set those aside for the moment. Now in here, I've got some melted butter, which goes into another pan. And I've also got, I'm going to put four eggs in here. And I've also got some sugar, so that's going to go in. Quite surprising how much there is. I'm going to give that a really good old mix. And um, not to be confused with sweet corn, um, you can get it. It's not the easiest thing to get, but, but if you look hard enough, um, you can get um, corn-style cream, and I do what I recommend is if you go to a really big supermarket, you know, not one of the express ones, but one of the big ones, you will be able to get it, but it needs to be one of the larger sort of out of town ones. That goes in, and we're going to add two more ingredients, which are um, the grated cheese, so that goes in, and I've also got some green chilies, which um, I've de-seeded, uh, sliced, and then um, cubed, so that goes in. You have to put those in if you don't want, but if you're going to do the authentic Mexican cornbread, my advice is go with it. Right, um, now the recipe that I'm making is probably going to fit two of these, but we're only going to bake off one today. I've got my um, raw ingredients here, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go the other way. I prefer doing it this way, it's safer. Is I'm going to start tipping in and trying to get as many of the ingredients in, and I'm going to do a bit, bit by bit until I get the texture I want. It is important to get the right texture, and we'll see what that is in a sec. But I always find it's much easier if you go dry to wet, you know what I mean. And I'm just gonna keep mixing until, until I've got exactly what I want. You want quite a wet texture to this. So just one last whisk, and then what we'll do is put that in the loaf tin and bake it off. So if you just have a look, it's, I mean, if you look at the texture, it is very wet. And what I'm going to do is, I've already prepared this tin. A lot of people use um, parchment paper. I like to just use um, a little bit of butter and flour. And I'm just going to pour the ingredients into this loaf tin. In a domestic oven, I would recommend maybe 150 degrees or 300. Um, in it goes. Um, leave it for about an hour, and then we'll have a lovely baked cornbread. Uh, well, that should uh, be ready now. So let's take it out of the oven. I'm very happy with that. If you come and have a look at it, it's a lovely golden corn color. Um, whenever you bake, what you need to do is just let it rest in whatever it's baking. Uh, in this case, we'll probably give it five or six minutes and then we'll turn it out. Well, we left that to rest for five minutes, so as you can see, it's um, uh, sort of souffled down a little bit. And um, if I just now turn that upside down, it should end up lovely, perfect recipe. Now, provided I don't cut little slices off of that, you can see it's a lovely moist texture there, which is just how I think this should be served. But that, for my money, is how you make the perfect cornbread. <laughs>